A few years ago, we investigated the loot box website Hype Drop on account of its ads targeting PC gamers and enthusiasts. The boxes touted high value items like graphics cards, CPUs, and more. Essentially hooks to pull in unsuspecting, well, gamblers, let's call it like it is. And I'm sure it wouldn't surprise many of you to hear that this website is still actually doing the same thing today, only they've uh, changed some things. Let's investigate. Stay with me. Antec's latest revision of the beloved C8 dual chamber design is the C8 ARGB, featuring three ARGB fans and an integrated hub. The two intake units at the bottom sport inverse fan blades for a clean aesthetic and are actually 160 millimeters in diameter, making them perfect for high airflow builds. Put up to three 360 millimeter fan rad combos in here simultaneously and swap included fan brackets for additional form factor support down below. The C8's elegant design is supported by a seamless meeting between the front and side panels, and the chamber around the back sports a plethora of cables, oversized power supplies, and storage for days. Learn more by clicking the link below. So here's our quick recap of how these websites work, and it all starts with influencers, SEO, and targeted ads, usually. You could be scrolling social media only to come across an ad like this one, and here's your hook. Or you could be watching a popular content creator pump the site because, you know, they're often paid tens of thousands of dollars to do so, and there's your hook. However it happens, maybe you find yourself on their new and improved landing page, <sighs> littered with boxes, supposedly filled with all sorts of goodies. Watches, expensive clothing, Apple products, and even cars. Yeah, that's not a joke. It's actually one of their recent additions, and the supposed odds are pretty laughable. But what really pisses me off about this site is their targeting of fellow PC builders with boxes like Contenders and Rivals. There's Setup Booster, Gadget Geek, and even PC Master Race. I seriously couldn't believe this one. They've PCMR as a featured loot box. And for over $70 a spin, which is absolutely wild. Original logos and all. In fact, I reached out to my good buddy Pedro, you know, the, the founder of PCMR, and uh, of course, they weren't given permission to use the logos or to treat this like some sort of endorsement, and it's not like they're slapping a Razer logo on a box with a bunch of Razer products inside. I mean, that'd be a bit different, and they actually do that quite a bit. There isn't even like a single PCMR item, like there's no PCMR merch or anything offered in this box. They're just taking advantage of clout that isn't theirs to lure people in. No me gusta. Now this wouldn't be a proper investigation without actually spending some money, and I'm not looking forward to this part. I'm sure Raymond is. Uh, Raymond, you looking forward to us spending some money? As long as it's not my money. I knew he was gonna say that. And look, as much as I hate to give these clowns any dime at all, I feel it's important to demonstrate just why this is such a bad idea. So, um... Let's drop a thousand dollars in the pot. I want to open some Rivals packs. The actual first thing that we could spin that, that's worth anything is a Ryzen 5 7600. Valued at 220 and the odds are 0.3175%. So, uh, all right, yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna click this and have at it. We made some money. We made, we made two bucks. All right, let's, uh, I could sell it for 1250. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm gonna sell for 1250. Why wouldn't I? I'm expecting just vouchers nonstop. You can see, I mean, we're slowly but surely losing money, which is not a surprise. We knew this was their business model from the start. A $4 voucher, again, uh, that lost us six bucks there. A $4 voucher lost another six bucks. Look how quickly the money's disappearing. We're now at, what, $940? You know what, I'm gonna have Raymond speed it up until maybe eventually we win something, maybe we don't. Let's, let's have at it. Like, there, there's no way. There, I don't think they're gonna physically ship anything. Like, they're gonna make sure. Wow, we actually got a 7800X 3D? Or we could sell it for $450 of in-store credit. Which would put us up to 1200 bucks? It's up to you as what you wanna do with this. What's the upgrade button do? Now I'm curious. Oh no. Whoa. We could attempt the upgrade for 45% success. <laughs> <laughs> to a pair of shoes. Uh, I think I'm good. It looks like we're back to just good old vouchers. 
and losing an average of five to six bucks per spin. Right, so we're down to $679. Uh, that, that money disappeared very quickly. So, I think uh, we're gonna switch to a different box. Uh, what was that contender box? This one here. So a lot, so it looks like there's a lot of chances to win something here when in reality, nine out of every 10 spins is gonna be just a voucher because you had 45% plus 25% plus 20%, it's 90%. I mean, if we spend this 10 times, it's 500 bucks. We could spend it 10 times and just see if we happen to win something. I don't know. The problem is we already want a CPU. So like maybe we get lucky and hit like a motherboard. That's compatible? No, they don't even have a motherboard that's compatible with that chip in here. Okay, there is a, a 670E, so that's not bad. But the odds of pulling that over anything else here, if we haven't even win anything big, are pretty low. So yeah, I, I guess we'll just buy 10 of these. That'll leave us with the, almost a couple hundred bucks left. So let's just go for it. Ugh, this is cringe. This is a lot of money on a, on a loot box. Alrighty. Oh boy. I'm about to do fast opening after this is taking way too long. Yeah, 15 bucks. <laughs> All right, that, that went by quick. Uh, let's do fast opening now. Here goes another 50 bucks. Ouch. Oh, $50 voucher. I actually got my money back, mostly. Okay, see that? They're, they're looping me in. 15 bucks. Great. Oof. Oh, that was four. Yeah. Five, six, seven, ouch, eight. I'm gonna sell this one because we've already got one CPU coming in. It's frankly a better one. Um, but okay, we won something there, that's fine. We'll stop, we'll pull back and we'll look at the field. See what else we got. PC Master Race, we could try this one because obviously I've got big problems with this one. This one's for you, Pedro, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's apparently, according to them, worth more than the box. So we just made 20 bucks. Made 20 bucks, okay. Can I tell you what the size of that? It's a 500 gig. Okay. It's definitely not worth 90 bucks, but whatever. Here we go. Ouch, I'm gonna sell that one back. I don't want an SSD. I don't want an SSD. I definitely don't want fans, although that actually made us five bucks. This is just kind of jarring. Like, I don't, I just, I don't see the the point. Like, what, what, if there's like one particular thing that you're trying to spin for here, like you're just losing money doing it. You'd be better off just buying what you want up front versus wagering all this money on no guarantee of a positive outcome. And this isn't bad here. This is 6,000 megahertz. This is 32 gigs of DDR. It's gotta be DDR5 for 6,000 megahertz. And it's valued at 125 bucks. I'm gonna add that to my cart. It goes with the... Uh... We'll see. It actually does go with the CPU. Yeah. We could very well build a high, this is not going the way I wanted it to go. And I, <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm, I'm happy for the outcomes, but this doesn't really help the... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I really want is this X670E motherboard and I am determined to actually build a system now <laughs> from hype shop stuff if we actually can. So another 50 bucks down the drain in three, two, one. Boy, that goes quick. Oh, this is, this is just, what? What, what the? <laughs> oh, another $50 voucher, almost got our money back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We can't say for certain that we're even gonna get these items, okay? So, I'm still, I'm still holding back a bit. We're gonna hit a graphics card very nice. I smell it, I smell it, it's coming. So many vouchers that are just, to me this is like the least interesting part of this whole thing. <laughs> I'm 
I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that. We could almost build a whole system here. We've got fans. We've got DDR4. We've got a CPU cooler. We've got storage. We've got a CPU. And we've got a graphics card. <laughs> we're just missing a case and we're missing a motherboard. Power supply. Power supply. Good. Yeah, good one. Power supply. I don't even know if they have power supplies on here. Interesting turn of events. Now, here's, here's the kicker. Let's add these products up. Okay, Let's add them up. Let's see, see where we are. So we get 660 plus 160 plus 95 plus 90. Oh God. <laughs> plus 80 <laughs> plus 75. For a total value, according to them, of $1,160. So uh, I already gave them my address. It's already in the profile. I was hesitant to, to even give them that, but I'm kind of glad I did now because it was just a one-click thing and now apparently they're gonna be delivered. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's like free international shipping. They could just be drop shipping from Amazon or Newegg. I don't know but we'll keep you updated. Now you've probably noticed this already, but Hype Drop has a ton of in-store credit spins baked into each of these boxes. Whereas before, it used to be stickers and other cheap, albeit physical crap that they'd have to physically ship you. It's also not a coincidence, of course, that a majority of these spins are for values less than that of the box itself. So you're slowly losing money over time, which then feels a need to top up over time. And there you go, vicious cycle. And uh, well, this is a loot box's way of printing money. Now I wanna break down the math because this is where, again, it gets interesting. Just exactly how does Hype Drop make money on boxes like these? Consider this, the Contenders box, okay? It's a $52.60 box. It's pretty expensive. That's per spin, by the way. And it's, you know, filled with stuff ranging from high-end CPUs to cheaper B-series motherboards. Now, in order to estimate the expected value from each spin, separate from the fixed upfront cost of $52.60, we need to multiply the odds of each outcome by its specific market value that they list, and then add those products together. All of these sum to an expected value of a whopping $47.82. You could say that if you were to repeat this loot box opening many, many, many times, the approximate mean profit per spin would be $47.82. But this wouldn't be a profit at all now, would it? Because the cost of the box is $52.60. So that's, that's not great. And you could make the case for any other gambling site, much the same way we've done here, it's not just loot boxes that are doing this, it's not just sports betting, but also online and physical casinos. These expected values are baked into every game on the floor to ensure that in the long run, the house always wins. And speaking of this box, my oh my, are the products all over the place in here. The Z590 Aorus Extreme is a pretty beefy board, and I don't think it's worth what they're saying it's worth, but it's a few generations old by this point. It's also not compatible with a majority of the things in this box that aren't also motherboards. I mean, a lot of these CPUs are like straight up from a different manufacturer. Like <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So even if you were lucky enough to win both a motherboard and a CPU from this box, the odds that they're compatible are very, very low. Maybe a graphics card box makes a little more sense since you can basically just drop those into any rig given you have the right power supply and case constraints and they are easier to work around, right? And just in general than entire platforms with finicky compatibilities. Other boxes, like this big Apple box, some of these names are so stupid, sell for a huge $346.36, which is an oddly specific price, I might add, and these don't have any vouchers at all. So none of that like, well, you win $15 of in-store credit, which you may think is a good thing until you realize that the odds of spending for a USB-C cable are over 30%. Imagine spending $350 for a Type-C cable absolute lunacy and likely a trigger for some to charge back their credit cards. Again, which is why I think a deposit system as an extra layer of protection was added. To your credit card company, it'll just look like you've made a single purchase. And again, once they realize that it's a loot box gambling site, good luck. Ignoring the fact that Hype Drop may be very well lying about these odds and ignoring the fact that some of these listed product values, you know, seem a bit inflated. I don't think this motherboard's worth 850 bucks anymore, but it's what they're saying it's worth. This contender box is designed from the ground up to make hype drop money. It's how they're still in business all these years later. Ooh, okay. The timing of this was, was really odd. Uh, we were 
caught off guard by it. I highly doubt that our shenanigans on the site a few days ago triggered this. I think it was planned well in advance. I'm not sure why it's come to this. And from the looks of it, a hype drop version two is coming at some point. But now that we know the site is for sure shutting down within only a couple of weeks of time of filming, we have a few other problems to discuss. Now I want to start first with the products that were supposed to be sent to us. This, so far, is all we have to show for our winnings. It uh, has been, what, a little over a week, I believe, and uh, I, I expect some stuff to, to kind of slowly trickle in. They're not going to be using Amazon Prime overnight shipping for everything. And like we suspected, all of this was drop shipped from multiple sites. Uh, so. Uh, ironically, not a single thing here came from Amazon. Uh, one of them came from eBay. Cooler Master fans, I don't, I don't know. Uh, the NZXT AIO. I have no idea where this came from. Absolutely no idea. There's no indication. I think it came from like a small mom and pop shop because the packing list and the order are a bit vague. This came from B&H Photo. Now here's where it gets interesting, because if you recall, we mentioned while we were spinning for these loot boxes that some of the product values they had listed on their site were a bit off. A lot of them seemed conflated, which would make sense, because if you had inflated product values, then you're giving the impression that they're winning more than they actually are. And the case is no different for this CPU here. They paid, now I'm saying they, as in hype drop, paid $94 for this Ryzen 5 5500. And you can see, according to their site, it was listed for quite a bit more than that. It's a pretty hefty percent markup. And this is another baked in margin for them. So not only are they making sure that they have the odds on their side, at least from a value standpoint, but they've also inflated said values to make them money on the back end once they do actually pay out, at least with respect to how much you've probably paid into the box. See it there, 94 bucks, regular price 154, but well, the final price here is what they actually paid. And uh, interestingly enough, we can actually see who purchased the card on our behalf? Somebody in Cyprus. Here's where it gets interesting though. The number, that is a real US number from the looks of it that we can call. Oh, we're gonna call. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and redial the number, including. So it's a fake or disconnected phone number, which is kind of funny because if I dial the number I entered for my contact information, to Verizon Wireless, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the We both debated each other. <laughs> so, is, so we both put fake phone numbers on here. <laughs> that is well played. Whoever runs Omnifarious Services Limited. Well played, my friend. By the way, for a good bit, we were worried that they knew who I was. Again, I'm not someone note where I'm not a celebrity or anything, but if they knew that we had a channel with a decent following, they might skew the results of the box, right? And, and so that was why I was initially hesitant to even publish that part of the video, because I didn't want to give anyone the impression that, hey, you could just jump onto this loot box website and win tons of stuff. Not only does it not mathematically make sense, but also you've got compatibilities to worry about. And I'm fairly certain at this point that they don't know who I am because I received some interesting emails from the folks over at Hypedrop who, um, well, I'll just say it, weren't privy to sending us the items that we won. A few days ago, I received this email from the Hype Drop support team. Hi there, we have canceled your request to withdraw ASUS NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Tough OC. It's likely that it might not be available anymore or your address might be incorrect. Please contact the support team here to learn more. I received the same email for our Corsair MP510 M.2, mind you, though I was more concerned about the graphics card because obviously that's the much more expensive item. In fact, the most expensive item that we won from the site. Also, in case you're wondering, no, there isn't an issue with our address because we received three other items from them. So we know it's not that. So I reached out to the support team saying, I recently won a graphics card and now you're telling me I can no longer claim it. Are there any options for me at this time? To which their response was, hello, can you please explain the issue in detail? Is there an error message or block? I sent a couple of screenshots only to receive this reply. Unfortunately, it's not available at the moment and we do not know how long it might take to be restocked. Now you can probably see why I'd be a little concerned about that reply, seeing as though the website is is literally shutting down in a couple of weeks. 
And if it does, I highly doubt there will be any way to obtain my graphics card. Once it's shut down, it's it's all gone. Everything I'm assuming is going to be completely wiped. And they might save some stuff for taxes, but I'm assuming most of the data from the site is just going to be completely cleaned out and I'd be SOL. I replied, can you just send something else then? I know you guys drop ship everything, just send a different model and we can square it up. And his response was, we would suggest exchanging the item for something similar on the site or withdrawing the crypto and sourcing it yourself. Now I've never dealt in crypto, I've never will, I've never sold, exchanged it, mined it. I don't even know how these exchanges work, so that's not an option for me. And the idea of exchanging the item for another, I, I didn't think was possible, because, well, we were actually on the site. We were opening boxes and selling items, but I didn't see a, a place where you could exchange it. The only option there was to just sell it back for an equivalent credit that I could then use to spend, you know, on something else. So th that didn't seem all that fair to me because there's no guarantee of success on any subsequent box I might open. Why, why would I do that? And to make matters significantly worse, I found that uh, following the announcement that the site was shutting down, I could no longer sign in with my approved sign-in method. It's been about three or four days since that email exchange, and the last thing I heard, they were working on the issue, but as of time of filming, I still cannot sign in. So I'd wager there's about a 50-50 shot. I see the graphics card at this point, let alone the SSD. It's very likely that the merchant they plan to purchase the card from had it listed for a price that Hypedrop wasn't very excited about, and that's why they are saying no. I, I don't know why they couldn't just send another near equivalent card, have me, I don't know, sign a document saying I'm okay with it, and then ship that instead. That's what an honorable business would do. It's not like you can't find 4070s and 4070 Ti's in the wild today, and even at decent prices. There's several on Newegg and Amazon at decent prices that I would be okay with in, in place of the tough card that I apparently won, but this is, what happens when you work with companies like this? I, I'm not surprised. I'm obviously not going to sulk in it. I did this to myself to prove a point, and hopefully this entire experience has pushed you away from the desire to throw your money into a loot box website. I can't obviously say that they're all going to handle things this way, but it's just a massive mess to have not only the site shutting down around the same time that we drop $1,000 into the site, then to also be told that we can't actually receive the items that we won. And for that matter, the items that we did win aren't actually valued at what they said they were valued at because we literally have receipts. So <laughs> this has been a wild ride. I'm, I'm surprised we won anything at all, but in the net, we lost quite a bit of money. And that shouldn't really be surprising to anyone. Not only did we show you the math behind why you'll likely lose money in the long run, but we actually tried it for ourselves, and uh, this is all I have to show for it. Yeah, we really didn't expect this one to end this way. Shocked that stuff even arrived to begin with. Shocked that we won things, but not shocked at all that the most expensive thing we won is not being sent to us for whatever reason. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Uh, again, I'm not surprised, but uh, maybe you've had better luck. I, I, again, I, I strongly advise everyone stay away from loot box websites, period. Hype drop is obviously no exception to that. And actually the owner of this site, who I'm, I'm clearly not fond of at this point, apparently owns a few other sites as well. There's something called, was it Hype Up, Raymond? Is that what it's called, Hype Up? Um, maybe they, 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 I think they interlink with, with CSGO boxes and things. Um, but uh, yeah, the owner put out a statement about the state of Hype Drop and his intent to open another one in the future. We'll see if that happens. All I can say is be very, very cautious and very, very diligent if you decide to throw money at a site like this. It is what it is, but your viewership is appreciated regardless, and be sure to check out relevant links in the video description. My name's Greg. Thanks for wasting close to $1,000 with me. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's how we end it right there. Uh.